Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you guys this beautiful wig from Unice Amazon. This is their Amazon store, you guys, and look how beautiful this wig unit is. This is their Bye Bye Knots Body Wave wig. It is a 7x5 HD lace closure. It does come pre-bleached, pre-cut, and it does have invisible knots. So yeah, she's definitely giving scalp, and it's giving a natural hairline as well. As you guys can see, I'm just giving you a quick unboxing, and now here is the hair. Once again, this is from Unice Amazon and this is their bye bye knots body wave 7x5 HD lace front closure wig I'm giving you guys a close-up of this closure again it comes pre-plucked pre-cut and pre-bleached for you those knots are literally non-existent and she is giving you a natural hairline inside of the wig you have the combs of course the silicone base and a nice adjustable strap as well so let's go ahead and get started into this wig install we are going to be doing a no glue wig install as usual I'm giving you guys some more close-ups of that wig as you guys saw you have a lot of room when it comes to the lace in itself and this is a straight out the box wig install I did not do anything to this wig unit whatsoever as you guys can see I'm just adding some cream foundation right onto the lace regardless if you have a bye bye knots wig invisible knots wig HD lace whatever you really need to make sure that the lace matches your skin color that is extremely important lace is a texture so the better you can blend it the better that is what's going to help your lace look extremely natural and that's what's gonna make it look like scalp so after adjusting the adjustable strap I just went ahead and threw the wig on I immediately noticed that I will have to use a little bit of spray just to melt the lace down the wig cap did fit pretty good but we really need to make sure that that lace is going to be secure because she's just moving all over the place so I'm using my wax stick and my hot comb just to get all of the hair out of my face and then I would just be using a little bit of melting spray to go ahead and secure this lace down. Okay, lace is pretty much secure at this point. So at this point, I'm just looking to see if there's any excess areas where I need to just make sure that she is laying as flat as she can be, or if there's any other areas where I need to add a little bit more spray. Once I'm comfortable with how everything is looking, I put the rest of the hair in a ponytail, and I go ahead and I take my elastic band and let the wig melt for at least like 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, the elastic band is off. As you guys can see, she is laying nice and flat and secure. So now I'm going back in with my cream foundation and I'm just dabbing a little bit right at the edges. Now it's up to you if you want to add baby hairs or not, but as you can see, I kind of just laid the hair down on each side because this is a closure wig. So you want to just hide like the ends of the closure as much as you can. I didn't do baby hairs, but if you want to do baby hairs to hide that, that's completely up to you. So I am sticking with the middle part because the wig kind of came that way and I just want to show you guys how easy it is and how quick it is to just go ahead and throw this wig on because they pretty much have it prepared for you so now I'm just securing the middle part with my wax stick and my hot comb of course and if you watch my tutorials you know what's coming next I really like to make sure that the top of my wigs are laying extremely flat you don't want it to look like you have a helmet on your head it's not cute so I will be going section by section with my wax stick and my hot comb and just really getting this wig to lay as flat as possible and you guys could just watch it it's really simple
Both sides are completed now, so I'm just adding a little bit more foundation right in that middle part, and I'm going in with a lighter foundation because your scalp is a lot lighter than the rest of your skin, so you kind of want to mimic that when it comes to wigs just to help it look even more natural as well. Once that is all taken care of, it is time to style the rest of the hair. I think I forgot to tell you guys that this wig is 24 inches and she is also 180% density and she is giving luxury. She is really cute, really pretty and that lace is just sitting and I'm so happy we did not have to add any baby hair. So I curled one side off camera and now I'm going to show you guys how I did the other side. As you can see, this was much needed. Fresh curls are the way to go. We don't like messy curls. So the first thing that you want to do is take some hairspray and just spray it all over the hair. Then I will be going in with my brush just to ensure that the hairspray got on each strand. And I will also be abusing the heck out of my wax stick as well because I do not like flyaways. So the wax stick really helps me to have the hair laid down as flat as can be. Like I don't like any of those little hair sticking up. I don't like that. So that's what I'm using the wax stick for. But it does not make the hair greasy or too stiff or anything anything like that. With each piece I will be going in with my wax stick and combing it out and then I will just be using my curling wand to go ahead and give me some curls. I let the hair sit on the curling wand for like 5 to 10 seconds and then I just let it drop. But let's go ahead and talk about the wig quality overall. As you guys can see, the lace is eating. The lace, I have no complaints about whatsoever. The hair quality, I do feel like was really good as well, especially for it being the Amazon store. It actually was really good. I didn't have like crazy amounts of shedding nor crazy amounts of tangling. So I do feel like the hair was pretty decent to work with. I also loved how flowy and how bouncy the hair was as well. Now that all of the curls are done, it is time to just perfect any areas that may be bothering me because you guys know I'm really picky. So again, you see me, I'm abusing my wax stick and I'm also going to be flattening the hair even more with the curling wand. I just really like to make sure that I don't have any little pieces sticking up because I don't like my wigs or my curls to look messy, which I've told you guys plenty of times already. But yeah, I do the same method for each wig unit that I get. But as you guys can see, those curls are looking amazing. The hair took to the heat very, very well. I did have the curling wand set at 430 degrees, by the way. So yeah, she did really, really amazing. And even with me combing my fingers through it, the curls were just bouncy, shiny, and flowy. Nothing was stiff. Nothing was like falling off of the wig. Like it didn't have a weird smell or anything anything like that either she was eating and again for this being Unice's Amazon store they did a really good job make sure you guys go ahead and you check out my description box down below everything will be listed there thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time